Once we have created a new file after selecting the proper template, we have to set the units of our drawing. In this example, I have created a new file based on the Akadiso template with the setup for the metric system. Before I begin to draw, it's crucial to set up the format of the units of the drawing and some details such as the precision of the units of measure. All those settings can be found in the Drawing Units dialog, which I can open from the Format menu by selecting the Option Units. In case you are not sure where to find the Option Units, you can always type the word Units in the command line and then press Enter. As soon as the window opens, you can see that it is separated into different sections. The first section is about length. The type field displays the format of the units of measure, which can be architectural, decimal, engineering, fractional, or scientific. The most common format is decimal, which is the one we are going to use now. As for the precision, it represents the number of decimal places displayed for linear measurements. In the same way, we can set the format of angles. The most commonly used format for people who are using the metric system is the symbol degrees, so I will leave the angle format set in decimal degrees. The precision field below works the same way as the precision in length. The clockwise option controls whether positive angles are measured in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction. When the checkbox is checked, the angles are measured in a clockwise direction. Otherwise, they are measured counterclockwise. From the insertion scale field, the scale of the blocks and drawings that will be inserted into the current drawing is defined. We are given several options here such as inches, feet, millimeters, centimeters, meters, kilometers, yards, etc. Typically, we want this scale to coincide with the units we are going to draw in. So if, for example, I'm going to draw in meters, I will select meters in this field. Lastly, the lighting option controls the unit of measurement for the intensity of photometric lights in the current drawing. However, this is something that won't affect our 2D drawing in any way, so I won't elaborate on this feature for now. I will return to the length and angle precision fields to show you exactly what they are meant for. I will set the length precision to two decimal places and angle precision to one decimal place. Now I will click OK to close the window and save the changes I have made. I will select the line tool from the toolbar, which we will learn how to use step by step in the following lessons, link in the I button and I will create a line of 3000.33333 meters at an angle of 35.533 degrees. Now that I created this line, notice that its length is shown as 3000.33 meters and the angle is 35.5 degrees, which are correct according to the precision I had previously set. 